Hey guys! Welcome to another episode of Learn with Sir Glenn. So for this video, we're going to discuss solving for missing coefficient using factor or remainder theorem. So let's go! Suppose you want to find what value of k will make x minus 2 a factor of x cubed minus kx plus 6. For this one, we're going to use the concept of factor theorem. So since we're going to use the factor theorem, first we have to identify your p of x and x minus c. So therefore, we have p of x is equal to x cubed minus kx plus 6. And since we're going to use the factor theorem, we're going to replace all the x variables with the value of c and we have to solve for p of c. And since you want it to be factor, so your p of c should be equal to 0. Since p of c is equal to 0, we're going to replace p of c with 0. x cubed minus k x plus 6 the p of x. x minus 2 is x minus c. So your p of x is equal to x cubed minus kx plus 6. Then we're going to replace x with the value of c. So therefore, we are going to solve for the c, equating your x minus 2 to 0. Then we will have x equals 2. Then c is equal to 2. So we're going to replace all the variable x with 2. But when you do that, your p of c will become 0. So therefore, your equation will become 0 is equal to 2 cubed minus k times 2 plus 6. So the p of x is replaced by 0 since the p of x will become the p of c and if it is a factor, p of c is equal to 0. The x will be replaced by 2 and so with the other x. And all you have to do now is to work on this. So we will have 0 is equal to 8, that is 2 cubed minus 2k plus 6. Then we combine like terms. So we will have... 0 is equal to negative 2k plus 14, adding 8 plus 6. Then we will have 2k is equal to 14. Then we divide both sides by 2. Then we will have k is equal to 7. So k should be 7 so that x minus 2 will become a factor of x cubed minus kx plus 6. Okay, so let's have another example. What value of k will give x raised to 4 minus k x cubed minus 3x minus 4 divided by x minus 3 a remainder of 14? Uh, since we have your remainder, which is 14, so we're going to use the concept of remainder theorem. First, we identify the p of x, the x minus c, and then we have your remainder, which is our p of c. So now we will have p of x equal to x raised to 4 minus kx cubed minus 3x minus 4. Then all we have to do now is to replace the x variables with the value of c which you can obtain by equating x minus 3 to 0. So x equals 3 so therefore c is equal to 3. So we're going to replace all the variable x with 3. Uh, since we're going to replace the x with the value of c, when you do that on p of x, you're actually going to have the p of c which is 14. So we're going to replace the p of x with 14. Thus, our equation will become 14 is equal to 3 raised to 4 minus k times 3 raised to 3 minus 3 times 3 minus 4. So we replace p of x with 14 since when you replace the x, you will have p of c and p of c is equal to 14 according to our problem which is our remainder. Then we replace all the x variables with 3. So now all we have to do is to perform the operation starting with the exponent. So we will have 14 is equal to 81 minus k times 27 minus 3 times 3 minus 4. Then we're going to perform all the multiplication. So we will have 14 is equal to 81 minus 27k minus 9 minus 4. We have to combine like terms. So we will have 14 is equal to negative 27k plus 68, which is the combination of 81 minus 9 minus 4. So now we are going to isolate our variable on one side of your equation. You can have it either on the left side or on the right side. So for this one, we're going to have the variable k on the left side. So we will have 27k is equal to 68 minus 14. So isolating variable k on one side of your equation. Then all you have to do now is to simplify this further. So we will have 27k is equal to 54. 
So we divide both sides by 27, cancel this, then you will have k is equal to 2. So therefore, your k should be 2 so that when you divide x raised to 4 minus kx cubed minus 3x minus 4 by the divisor x minus 3, the remainder will become 14. So that's it. We're done. Thank you for watching and hope you have learned something from this video.